Let's have a look at smoothing weights and how you would do it in NG Skin Tools. I'll cover both basics and some specific features, so you can watch it in sequence or just jump to a specific chapter of your interest. Smoothing is pretty simple to understand visually. If the skin deformation has unevenness, bumps, that sort of thing, then applying smooth brush will start making your deformations look more even or literally smoother. If you look at how weights are changing when smoothing, you'll notice that it behaves a lot like blurring. Let's take this plane for example. Currently each vertex is skinned to one influence only, so deformation is what you would expect. Each group of vertices only move with their respective join. But now as I'm smoothing, you'll notice that each weight turns into a gradient and starts spreading into nearby areas. And as a result, deformation starts smoothing out. Let's have a look at each influence separately. For that we need to switch display to single influence mode. You can now see how when we're smoothing, each influence is forming a nice fall off. And because of that, the deformation you get is now nice and organic, and regardless of which joint we're moving. Notice that Smooth Brush is not smoothing just the current influence. It is actually doing that for all influences at the same time. Let's have a look. So I have selected this joint as a current, and then when I smooth outside of it, I'm smoothing these other two joints. The only important thing here is which vertices you are editing, but then for those vertices, all influences will be smoothed. It is important to understand that we are smoothing skin weights, not the actual geometry. When we use geometry smooth brush, all the details in the model disappear, and we definitely don't want such an effect when talking about skin smoothing. When we smooth weights, the result is a bit different, because we are editing transitions between joints. You will notice that as we smooth weights, all the details and geometry and evenness, those are being preserved. You have to keep this in mind when your initial geometry is not smooth and bind pose. Uh, don't try to fix it with smoothing. One additional feature of the smoothing algorithm is that it takes into account uneven edge lengths. This is really important when you have things like chamfered edges, for example, and you need to maintain them in the deformation. If you tried using Maya's smooth weights in the past, you might have noticed that it does not respect edge distances, and you would be more cautious to smooth areas like this. But with NG Skin Tools, you can literally just smooth it as usual, and it should not require additional care most of the time. Let's see how you can control the amount of smoothing. Sometimes you want it to be pretty aggressive, like when smoothing large chunks or dense geometry. Other times you just want it for some finishing touches. In that case, the amount of smoothing you require is much more subtle. There are two important sliders that control the amount of smoothing, intensity and iterations. A good starting point is setting iterations to something like 10 to 20, and then play around with intensity to match the desired amount of smoothing. Raising iterations will also increase the amount of smoothing, so why two sliders then? Intensity controls how much smoothing is performed in one go. The higher intensity, the more noticeable the effect will be. However, you will quickly notice that raising intensity above certain value will give you horrible results. I'd say try staying below 0.3 intensity most of the time, but the lower is better. If you set intensity too low, there won't be much smoothing at all, though. You would have to repeatedly smooth over and over again to get where you need it. This is where iterations come in. In a nutshell, iterations just automate the repetition I just mentioned. If I set it to 10, it basically means repeat operation 10 times. 
using iterations is very important for precision. You will get much better results using more iterations and low intensity. In theory, more iterations means more calculations and requires more CPU, but it will be hard to notice on any decent machine. The biggest downside will be that you'll need to lower intensity by a lot if using high iterations, so try to stick to no more than 50 in most cases. When playing around with smoothing, try not to overdo it. Here we have a torso where the smoothing has been pushed a bit too far, and when deforming, the model loses volume and is just too rubbery. If you check what happened to weights, you'll notice that middle influences got washed out and have weak weights in general. To fix this, we want to bring back the overall weight of each joint. For that, I will use a pretty wide add brush, which is set to low intensity and Gaussian shape. This will allow me to adjust weights without breaking the overall smoothness. In between adding weights, I'm also using Shift key to toggle back into Smooth Brush from time to time to clean things up a bit. After cleanup, joint weights now have a much better defined area of influence and silhouette is preserved much nicer when deforming. At this point, it's worth mentioning that you can also smooth the selection without painting. You can just select components you want smooth and in Set Weights tab, apply smooth. And any component type works. You don't have to convert selection to vertices anymore. You can also see that I'm using Maya's native soft selection, which is also supported. With soft selection on, smoothing operation gradually fades away on selection edges. That's not always needed, but a good thing to know. There is one important smoothing mode I want to show, which is volume smoothing. In most examples we've looked at so far, I was using surface mode. This means that vertices are smoothed against other vertices by edge connections. However, in some situations you might want to smooth weights between vertices that are not connected, like between belt and armor vertices. In surface mode, it is just impossible to align them well. When you use volume brush projection, each vertex will look for nearby vertices in space, not by edge connections. And now as I'm smoothing, everything's falling into place. Neat. Another example would be this hair. It would just be impossible to paint weights in surface mode. However, I set initial weights in screen mode, smooth them in volume mode, and voila. This wraps it up for smoothing for now. I hope you found this useful, and bye for now.